Most dress patterns come for a regular size, and many of us are short-waisted. The petite adjustment is really simple to do. Just trim the waist off a little bit and fold up your pattern. Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. I'm an online instructor and we are back to the little black dress. One thing about the dress is maybe the neckline on your pattern doesn't flatter you or you wanna change it because it already fits great. Let me show you a quick way to do this. So here is my pattern. I traced one of my patterns without all the labeling to make it easy for you. This is the center front and here's my neckline. It is so easy to change this, all I have to do, now keep your shoulder seam the same length, otherwise you have to change a lot of other things. But you can make it circular, you can make it sweetheart, you could make a V, get the idea? You can do anything you want. The big thing though is that you have to do the same thing for the facing piece. The facing piece that's on the front, you have to do the same thing because I didn't do anything to the shoulder. The only part of the facing I have to change is this center front. So if your facing piece, which it usually runs on a curve, if it stopped here for some reason, you're gonna need to make that longer. So I just wanna draw this for those of you that need to redraw your facing piece. Usually it comes around like this and down. And then this is the side front, so it would be you know, finishing up this way. The key here is, if this is the bottom of your facing, everything has to be on a curve. No points, otherwise you're gonna be able to see that through your fabric. So whatever your facing is, just trace it the same way. That's what I have here. And I've turned this into a V-neck. Uh-oh, I see a big problem. What did I tell you? Everything has to go on a curve and we've got a point right there. So, pretty easy to fix. Just trim it out and make a circle or a curved edge, not a circle, but see, that's much better because when this is gonna push on the right side of your garment. So there's my facing. I've already attached my fusible interfacing. That's a great way to keep that nice and crisp. Here's my top. I'm going to pin this together. I chose a V-neck to show you here because it's one of the most difficult. A lot of times when you're sewing a V-neck, the V might be skew it a little bit, or maybe the V's supposed to go here and it ends up here. For those of you that have done that, you know what I'm talking about. So lay this out, match up your shoulder seams, just like this, and now lay out your garment. Now this doesn't have fusible interfacing, so it's a little bit stretched, it's stretched out more so than the one with the interfacing, that's okay. Match up the center of your V, just like that, and put a pin on the straighter grain. Straighter grain, you know, your garment's cut on the grain line, just follow the grain line. And what you're gonna do through the rest of this is ease in this fabric. The fabric on your garment. Your facing is the one that's gonna be a little bit smaller. So here we go. And I have one more trick, twill tape. Of course I use a lot of it. This is twill tape, just cotton twill tape. You could also use polyester. This is another tip you need for stitching this. Let's go to the sewing machine. You're gonna stitch with the garment side down and then the facing side up because remember we're easing in that fabric. I'm just gonna stitch from the shoulders down just to give you, show you how to, this works. Of course I put the pins on the wrong side for you. <laughs> One more thing, on my pattern, I already have 1 4 inch seam allowances along the neck edge, so I don't have to do any trimming. You might wanna do that, trim your seam allowances on your neck edge if you have a 5 8 inch, because it's just too much bulk. Okay, here's the trick. Get down to the edge of your V. I know, those of you that are pin, that get so mad about sewing over pins, I'm sewing right to the pin by hand. See that? It's right on the pin. Take your fabric and turn it. Take the pin out. Now you have the perfect V. I'm gonna stitch all the way up to the top. I know you're wondering, did you forget the twill tape? No, I did not. But here's the V, perfect, right where it's supposed to be. Now, 
with the, I'm using a bigger stitch, by the way, so you can see this. You would use a regular stitch, just in case you're wondering. This twill tape will help to make your V perfect, perfect in the back. So I usually take twill tape and I just attach it to the, to the wrong side of your garment side, not the facing, and just stitch. And I'm just gonna, for this purpose, I'm just gonna stitch towards the V. So you don't need to watch me sew that whole thing. I'm stitching right over the seam that we just sewed. I'm gonna put another pin in here just so. My sharp V, remember? Hold your twill tape and stitch. Again, that's easing in that fabric right to the edge. Let's go back up here. Take the twill tape. Now, you're gonna end up with a little buckle underneath your foot. It's okay, just leave it. Again, stitch up. And I'm just gonna go that far so you can kinda see what this does. So I've sewn the twill tape, and this, the part of the V that I'm talking about is this very edge. It's kind of puckered, that's all right. All you do is trim here, straight down where that pin was. So now you have a little cut. So then I would understitch it, which I'm going to do in the next lesson.